Okay, you need to replace those handles on your smoker or grill. Now what? A lot of times handles that come on your barbecue smoker or grill, they simply wear out, they fall off, they rust up, they need to be replaced. Well, in this video, I'll show you a great option that works for a lot of these type of handles. Obviously, there are different types of handles. For instance, if you have a handle designed like this, then your options are limited and this will not work on this type of handle. I like to start out with the stainless steel replacement spring. I've been using the stainless steel springs from Lava Lock. They aren't a sponsor. I have to buy mine like everybody else. I think the chrome springs might look a little nicer, but the trouble is they rust up and they just don't stay nice looking forever. When you decide on a spring, you need to know what the maximum diameter rod that that spring will accommodate. The seven inch and the five inch Lava Lock stainless steel springs, they have a half inch diameter. So initially I was looking for a half inch stainless steel bolt. A seven inch bolt is too short for a seven inch spring. And after seven inches, these stainless steel bolts are hard to find. So while I was looking for these half inch stainless steel bolts, I came up with a half inch round rods. You can find these in steel, stainless steel, aluminum, and other variations. I'm using an eight inch 304 stainless steel rod along with a half inch stainless steel bore shaft collar. The bore shaft collars that I have, they work with set screws so they can be secured anywhere on that half inch shaft. Some of the springs on my Yoder YS1500, I've used the bore shaft collars to anchor the springs in place. I think it looks better than those little caps that came on the pit. The eight inch rod was perfect fit for the seven inch spring because the bore shaft collars, they're almost a half inch wide. For the five inch spring on the firebox, I'm using the eight inch rod without cutting it. It looks good to me and I don't have to make any cuts through the stainless steel. I bought all these items off of Amazon. Stainless steel's not budget friendly, but it does last a long time. It may be the cheapest thing in the long run. Aluminum may be a little bit cheaper. I haven't tried it, so I really don't know how well it'll work in the long run. But it is an option. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Pot Addy's Blind Hog Barbecue.